Now, Kalki, you often say that you are an artist, you're not an activist, but very often you use art to seek change, a classic example right here. Can you talk us through this piece? What made you write it? Why did you write it importantly? Um, well, I... You know, I, I had to write something for this. And uh, I, I, I just felt like, you know, there is so much bubbling inside a lot of us. And most of the time, we have to be quiet about it, uh, you know, because you don't want to create a scene. You don't want to start a fight. You know, you don't want to do all these things. So when you get a platform like this where you can completely take advantage and, and, and bubble over with all, all the expressions, it's, it's great. It's a great way for me to do it. I, I personally think that acting uh, is therapy because you get to like, express all these things. But at the same time, uh, yeah, I hope it, it, it has an effect. This is more effect. than acting. Sorry? This is, this is a lot more than acting. You're, you're trying to seek change in society. Absolutely, but I'm, I'm doing it out of a genuine concern for me and a genuine concern for, uh, you know, people who, who have... I don't know. I, I don't do it out of, you know, uh, you know some, something other than the fact that I believe in it. If I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't be doing it. In the sense that uh, I, I feel like I, I can only talk about something if I really, really get affected by it. In, in that sense, I think everybody is deep down very selfish because you, you only really react to things when you start getting affected by them. And this is something as a woman, you are, I am in, affected. I'm affected by the roles I get. I'm affected by the kind of uh, the way people look at me, judge me. So it affects me. So yes, I want to fight for it. Yes. But I won't lie, it's something that comes out of my own personal need for things to change. Would you have done this piece differently if it wasn't India? Maybe won something different, said something different, or would it be just the same? Uh, if it wasn't India? Yes. Of course, I mean, if I was living somewhere else, I would be affected by that. I don't know where that... No, if you were performing this, if you were performing this expression, say, elsewhere, mm. would, it, yeah. would, would there be a lot more in this because there are more don'ts in this country than do's? Right, right. I, 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 I can't know that for sure. I, I think that I've always written out of a need for what I've experienced in my life and what I experience in my life is around me in India. So this is very much intricately sewn into what I'm feeling in India today. So yes, I, I don't see how that would change if I was somewhere else unless I was living somewhere else. You know, the kind of work that Kalki's done, most of us must have seen it, uh, be it uh, your films, uh, The Girl in Yellow Boots, or be it, uh, you know, the kind of uh, campaigns that you've been associated with. One which comes to my mind immediately is, uh, is the one where rape, it is your fault, woman. Now, with all of that, you've chosen the path of shock, you know, completely shown off any politeness of trying to make a point, you know, because in this country, you're pretty much shaking the audience out there to see on what's going on. Why is that? See, I, I've just wanted to do more and more because uh, I've been affected by it. I think uh, I was in Delhi uh, when uh, that rape happened, the rape, Nibha, jo yeah, yeah, Jyoti, Jyoti Singh rape happened, and I was very affected by it because I, I was living in the city, I was working there, and I saw all the protests and I couldn't get it out of my head, so I wrote this blog on, on Facebook, and I, I still felt like I didn't do enough, and I felt like I, I can't be living in a place where I, I, I have the power and the education to do something and not do it. So I kept thinking, what can I do, what can I do? So when Tanmay Bhatt came to me from uh, AIB and, and showed me the script, I jumped on it. I was like, it's brilliant. And you know what's brilliant about it is that it's, it's something that can reach into everybody's homes, uh, you know, through the internet, through social media. Yeah. Uh, and it's not, you know, uh, it's not your, um, like a lot of, I know a lot of young people who are not interested in causes, who are not interested in hearing an NGO uh, speech. So we didn't, you know, what was great about this was through humor, where, we're, you know, we're entertaining people and at the same time giving ac across a message. One final question, Kalki, you keep saying that I've experienced a lot. Therefore, I have these thoughts and I want to put them out there. Um, can you give us instances from Bollywood? Uh, instances of, of uh, discrimination? Yes. Or, um, 
things that I can talk about in public? Yes. <laughs> After what you did, you can talk about anything in public. <laughs> um, We'd be disappointed if you don't. No, you know, I've grown up, I was born and brought up in this country, so I've grown up being stared at. So for me, that, that's something that has deeply affected everything I do. Maybe that's why I'm an actor. I'm used to all the attention. You know, since, it, since childhood, because I was white, a white girl in South India, I was born in a small... White girl, no godfather. Nobody watching your back mm, yeah. in Bollywood. Born in, a village, born in a village of fishermen, Piriya Mudalya Chavadi. Okay, that was the name of my village. And I was this one white girl living there. So for me, I've been growing up with this being stared at, you know, for, for looking different or, and for being a girl. And, uh, and of course, in Bollywood as well, uh, you know, an, an, an example is after Dev D, all the roles that came my way were prostitutes or item numbers. I had said no to some four scripts. I didn't work after Dave D for one and a half years in films. People don't know that about me. Like I, I wrote a, my play, Skeleton Woman, because there was nothing coming my way except the same stereotype. Oh, she'll do that kind of role. So yeah, there are, I'm constantly fighting that and constantly trying to reinvent myself and, and, and say that I am an actor, that I, I am supposed to be a comedian. Do you think Bollywood change. continues to enforce stereotypes? Um, Yes, of course, of course. The idea of the virginal beauty, uh, you know, is still very strong in most of our commercial films. Uh, but I think it's also changing. I think there are uh, some really uh, powerful women uh, and good actresses who are doing great work. Uh, Vidya Balan. I'm sending a message example. out there. Huh? I'm sending a message like you out there. Yes, yes, yes. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you, Kalki. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Kalki Keklan.